Hi, today we're going to show you how to replace an LCD in a Fujitsu Lifebook AH series. Okay. What you have to do first is remove the battery. Then you have to remove all the screws on the back. You have to remove this cover, which is going to take you to the motherboard. Gently remove the cover and pry it out. Try to remove these two cables from the antenna wires. Then flip it over and you have to pry the cover. After that, remove the keyboard and now you have the LCD. So here they are the Wi-Fi antennas. Just work with it. And you have to remove one, two screws only. Then you have to remove the connector right here. gentle. LCD cable is very fragile, so now you can remove it. So take your whole computer, put it somewhere else, and now you have to work on the screws for the LCD. First take the rubber cover out. This two, you don't have to replace them or remove them because they are not actual screws. But you have to remove this four. And they are different size screws, so you have to set them in a different tray. Now you have to hold the LCD and you have to pray with the flat screwdriver and try to work with the locks. There's one, two, or you can use a guitar tool for playing and that's easier to pop them out. As soon as you get the vessel uh, kind of released, you have to pop these two locks or tabs and try to work with the bottom. It's it's more difficult. You have to be aware that you can damage the LCD. This is uh, there is a electronic connected there. You have to be very very careful. And then you can try to get the basal out. You have to remove 
couple of screws, especially the ones that are attached to the hinges. Like this. See what size is the screw. If it's the same size as the other ones, like the basal, you have to keep them in the same place. The other side too. If you have a little brush, try to brush that. The debris and the dust on the hinges. And it's very important you have to, since you're gonna move the LCD and the LCD ribbon cable, it's behind the LCD. You have to disconnect the camera. If you can if you don't disconnect the camera, you can damage the ribbon for the camera. And this is a very, very small connector right here. Now you get it out. See, it's out. Now you can take it from the corners and bring it up. Usually you have to work with the LCD ribbon cable. Put it in the side. Now, flip it over. And here is the connector, so you have to take this tab, move it out of your way, try to not touch it because you're gonna try you're gonna reuse it later. See the L C D cable is out. Usually they are they have glue attached. So you have to remove it. Now you have to remove the hinges. We have this one that has two screws. And they are all marked. We can see it from here, but it's left marked with the left, and this one is marked with the right. over there. Take the other one out. So you have your screen out. Okay, so as soon as you have the screen, you have to reset back the hinges. So you have to put the screws in the same position. you have the display and you have to set back the cable okay. and realign the ribbon for the camera You can flip it over and bring the back, bring the back cover. And realign it with. So now you have the cable back, and you have to re-attach. 
the camera. You can re start replacing the screws and make one test. Check, put it back in there. See if we have image. Okay. Now, after the test, you can remove the protection, the basal back. Probably you can clean it before installing. Okay. So you can replace. You get a here locks okay so now you have to get the screws don't tie them too much just until you feel they're secure Bring your computer back, set it back into place, maybe secure the LCD. And reroute the LCD cable. And reroute again the Wi Fi antennas cable. In place. So now you can close it. Usually the black connector goes a number two and the white or gray goes a number one. So now you can put it back again. Reconnect the keyboard. And reset all the covers make sure everything is in place close it flip it over again and start to replacing your screws Make sure everything back on. Now, without the battery, we can make your final test.
to your computer. Okay, perfect. Great. Okay guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching.